Hi y'all. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a backdrop and to start with I am double stuffing my balloons to get a desired color. So I wanted a dark blue and I'm using black inside a metallic blue. Start by blowing up the balloons. Today I'm using a 9 inch balloon sizer just like this. Now let's start stacking up our balloons just like you can see here one on top of the other in the color coordination that you like today I'm using metallic blue and silver and you will see it in the final result just like this add your silver what I'm doing is I'm just tying the balloons to each other using the the balloon ears Gonna speed it up a bit and now I will show you the assembly of my backdrop so these are the drapes that I've used and I've already stitched this part so it can just slide through the pole I'm using a rectangular backdrop this this time so unscrew this so that the curtain can slide through And just like that, I'm going to slip it through. And I had a bit of a blooper there. I dropped my rods. But yes, back on track now. Slide, 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 slide. All the way in. Now I'm going to get the other side of the rod. Uh, just after I've put this curtain through and just like this slide 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 and screw it back in get my next rod now repeat the process and slide 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 okay let's fix our poles together and you can see that it's beginning to take form so I'm just assembling the rest of the backdrop the curtain is ready the drapes as some people like to call it putting the rest of the poles and just like this prop it up and it's just easy like that I'm going to rearrange the frills, just tighten up all the edges I get my chair. Now I'm beginning to fix the lights. So what I've uh, done here is I've taken an extension so that my lights can go all the way up to uh, the connection in the wall and here I'm going to be using safety pins um, and attach my lights to the uh, curtain right at the top just as you can see I am doing here I've lit it up the light just so I can see where I need to do the work and it's better to uh, fix all the issue areas and I'm using pins like I said so there you go Pin it up, pin it up everywhere you see that it's kind of drooping down, pin it up and just like that, see I'm pinning it up here and one last one over there hello so I'm opening up the lights just like this if you if you like to have more lights you can use double strings so that uh, you can overlap it on to the uh, to each other let's get the chair out of the way and yes just like this now i'm going to be using a 260 balloon i'm making knots here and i'm going to leave this there for now and i'm going to be putting up my balloons by using these 260 balloons to hold them up 
so I've put those there I didn't have a ladder so I've had to use a chair this time around but it's always better to have a ladder so you can get better support and it's easier to go up and down so as you can see here I am taking the 260 and I'm stretching it and just rolling it around the balloon so I've secured one portion of it now I will go on to the other side just like this repeat the step and repeat it again on the other side just like this till you have it secure and one final bit in the middle and just like that your backdrop will be ready I assembled this <clears throat> in less than 20 minutes but yes the prep work uh, did take a little bit more time and um, as you get better at it you will find your own ways of uh, what works for you but this is how I did it now I'm just repositioning it and just getting it all nice that's it from me and you can see the end result shortly here you go it hope you like it please subscribe and follow us